What is my number one secret for growing a thriving business? Entrepreneurs, I'm Vicki Brown, and you're in the right place if you want to engage your team, boost your business, and grow your leadership muscle. Now, you've probably heard the stats. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, 20% of small businesses fail within their first year, and 50% fail by their fifth year. The end of most of these businesses isn't a big bang. They just peter out from lack of revenue. They either never found their customer base or it shifted somehow and they didn't. Either way, the result is the same, no revenue. When you don't have enough money coming in, your business will eventually die. When I first started my business, I was lucky enough to start with a client, but then nothing. Finally, after 12 months of nothing, three prospects happened in two weeks. I was telling a friend about the good fortune and wondering out loud why there seemed to be a bit of a rainstorm after such a drought. And he said something I will never forget. You just have to stay on the field. If you can stay at it long enough, eventually you're going to break through. Something will yield results. It turns out that advice has stayed with me and has applied to various areas of the business. You launch a product and it doesn't take off right away. The first inclination is to yank it and fix it. But you haven't even given it enough time to catch hold or to find out why it isn't catching hold. Stay on the field. Let things play out a bit. And it certainly applies to sales. Once we got our first cluster of clients, they told their friends who told their friends and on and on. Soon we had a nice referral based business and we'd grown enough to move into commercial office space and we could start to hire. So the we became more than me, myself and I. Building a business is a long haul exercise. I'm here to tell you the real secret to building a six figure business, sticking around. In fact, the secret to building a seven figure business, sticking around. Even when there are setbacks, and there will be setbacks, you haven't failed until you leave the field of play. Idomeneo stayed on the field through that first recession in 2001. We stayed on the field when the 2008 recession hit. Our largest client terminated their contract and they were over 50% of our revenue. And we stayed on the field in the face of a worldwide pandemic. Now, don't get me wrong, you have to learn and adapt. In 2001, we learned we needed to adopt some type of organized marketing and sales method. In 2008, we learned the folly of having all your client eggs in one basket. Really, 50% of revenue with one client? Don't ever put yourself in that position. And in 2020, we saw the value in the Leader's Journey coaching division we had just launched at the end of 2019. Lucky timing. There is always a point where things get easier. Not forever, but easier for a while. You have to remember that what's vexing you today and slowing you down, you will conquer and it will become old hat tomorrow. Then you'll have a bit, maybe a year, maybe a few days, maybe a few hours where things will feel easier and you can take a deep breath and remember why you love what you do. But things will change and you can expect that thorny times will return this time wearing a different suit of clothes. If it was the economy last time, it might be technology issues this time. Or if it was a staffing problem last time, it might be a quality control issue this time. Hard and easy will follow one another, like yin and yang. Why? Because you need easy to take a breath and remember that you are in love with what you do, so you keep doing it and helping more people. And you need hard, because hard makes you grow, adapt, and innovate. Without the heart, you don't get the lessons or the feeling of accomplishment when you overcome. Also, remember that hard automatically shows up at growth inflection points. As your business grows, new challenges will surface. 
you realize you need some consistent method for onboarding clients and new team members. Maybe you need to develop a consistent method for transitioning clients out. If you don't have a retained or subscription product model, maybe you need to develop one. Or if you do, maybe you need to develop a one-time signature product to complement your current services. One other big upside to staying on the field, people begin to know you, and that builds your brand. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe and share. And if you're struggling with how to get your business off the ground and what comes next, check out the Leader's Journey Business Builder. I designed this completely free video series to help you with figuring out who your customer is and where to find her, how to sell without selling, how to package and deliver your service, and much, much more. Check it out by using the link leadersjourneyexperience.com. And remember, your inspired leadership is the secret sauce to having a high-performance team and a wildly successful business you'll love. I'll see you next time on Leader's Journey.